What's up people? My name is Patrick and in today's video we'll be talking about five powerful habits that will change your life forever part two part two so put on your helmet boys because today we'll be seeing how to become successful intro Moving on to number one, the first habit that will change your life forever is waking up early. Yes, you heard me right, waking up early. What does this do to you? Well, studies have shown that the body is way more productive in the morning. So, what to do to be successful? You wake up early, you wake up around 5 a.m. Yes, some people are like, oh my god, 5 a.m. What I'm gonna do? Wait, listen, listen. You're way more productive, meaning you could do way more things in these times. So, what I'm saying about that, remember self sacrifice, and I told you how people will take those times to push in their dreams? Well, one of them could go under waking up early. You will have way more time to push in your dreams in the morning. How to achieve waking up early instead of sleeping late and spending all of this time in social media and watching Netflix, something that I'm guilty of. What I will do is I will go to bed around 11, so I will sleep late. Why I will sleep late? Because I will be studying and focusing some work on me throughout this period of time so i only have to sleep around six or five hours a day and i'm pretty rest now for you guys out there that would like to sleep more you could go and sleep around 10 and wake up around five and you slept mostly the hours you need to sleep for your daily basis what does this mean when you get up in the morning you could get up to read to investigate things that interest you and to promote yourself in becoming a great person. Moving on to number two. Yes, and this is doing exercise regularly. Why? Well, you see, successful people don't only focus on their brains, but also on their physical body. Like me, I, I work out so much, like if I take off my shirt, uh, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. Working out every day, it makes you feel good. And this is one very important thing that you should know. When you feel good about yourself, when you feel proud about yourself, you build up your self-esteem. And remember that success equals confidence. So if you wanna be successful, you have to be confident about yourself. And if you're confident about yourself, you have a good self-esteem, so nothing could actually bring you down. Work out every day. Okay, you don't have to work out like five hours every day, but just walking a little bit or having a very scheduled working out routine that will help you get those abs you need. You know, like do it. Like, let me show you a photo of me five months ago when I didn't work out. Now, compare it to a photo of me today, working out every day. You see the difference? Now let's put them together. Before, after. It's incredible, isn't it? I know, I know. I, I look very good, but we're not here to talk about me. Boom, moving on to number three, numero tres. This is looking at failure like a boost. Successful people or people that really make money out there, people that really feel good with themselves, they learn one of the most crucial lessons that the world have to give you. And this is learning from your failures. It's, it's very easy to look at someone and tell them, look at my failures and learn from them. Not everybody will learn from you, or not everybody will learn from the failures of others. We all need to pass through this test and these trials to remember. Yes, we as human beings are the only animal that will stumble on the same stone several times and don't learn anything. 
So it's very, very important if you want to go out there and be successful to learn from your mistakes. Why? Because you improve. You need to learn from them because that's only way you could go up. I remember I made a quote for myself that says, I am not scared of making mistakes, but I'm scared of not making enough. That's a personal quote I did for myself. I am not going out there trying to make the most mistakes as possible, but I'm going out there with an open mindset to say to, say to myself, if we made a mistake, no problem, we will learn from it. And I'm glad I made it because that's the only way you know you're progressing into the right direction. Remember, it's better to lose every single time than to win. Why? Because when you win, you don't learn how to win. But when you lose, you learn two things. You learn how to lose and how to behave and how to stay humble. And you learn how to win and what to do to stay on that path to the right way. So don't be scared of making mistakes. I know it's, it's very hard like out there, you know, the vast world. But just don't, don't. So before moving on to number four, I just want to tell you that I did a next video talking about five powerful habits that you could learn before you die that you have to master. So I will leave it up right here. Now, if you want to learn more about self-growth and, and self-development, then I will leave you a couple of videos right here and under the description below so you, so you could stay informed. Now, don't forget to leave the like, subscribe, just leave a comment, okay? And uh, that will really greatly help the channel. Moving on to number four, numero cuatro. There we go, saying some things in Spanish so it sounds very good. Moving on to number four, and this is reading every day. Sounds quite a challenge, doesn't it? It actually does. So, that's why I wrote everything in my book. And that's why you will write everything you need to do reading every day. What does this bring to you? Well, first of all, it relaxes you. Studies have shown that reading every day, it's like going to the gym for your brain. The most successful people are very fast readers, like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and John F. Kennedy. Did you know that John F. Kennedy read 1,000 words per minute? That's, that's crazy. You know, the average person reads 250 words per minute. There are very important courses out there that you could take right now to increase and boost that reading speed. Imagine you read 700 words per minute. You will finish a book in what, two hours? That's, that's amazing. If you guys are interested to learn how to speed read, well, leave it on the comments. I will see what I could do, but that's only if you guys are interested. This video gets around 50 likes, then I will do it. Another big advantage of reading every day is that you improve your vocabulary, your knowledge, and you can learn everything you need to learn just by reading. You don't need to go to a fancy school and waste tons of money. You can read everything. It's out there. Moving on to number five, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me. It really helps the channel grow. And this is investing on yourself. How many times do I have to tell you that investing on yourself is one of the most well-known habits you can master out there right now at this moment? Investing on yourself doesn't mean putting money out there for you to get money back. No, not at all. Remember, the biggest investment is yourself. For example, you could buy a fast reading course or a course about how to market, how to sell, for example, or how to talk to people. But remember, these are skills you gain. These are skills you obtain that will promote you, that will push you to be a great person. So we have a bonus habit and this is, and this is, remember, ignoring conformity. Success is not created by people that copy the rest, but by innovating. The most successful people, they don't, they don't only think outside the box, they live outside the box. 
they will take something that already exists and put something of their own that will increase the value or change totally this item. Look at the Walkman, for example, a portable music device that allowed you to listen to music wherever you want. Who took this idea and put something of theirs? Steve Jobs. And what he created, the MP3 or the iPad. This revolutionary idea took something that already existed and just transformed it into something new. You guys remember out there at the time the Blackberry was out and everybody had a Blackberry? What Steve Jobs did was he took, he took the phone and he revolutionized it, he changed everything and he put a touch screen on it. Why? To make it more different. Innovation. It's key to success. Turn out from the crowd that follows. So stop following others and be you. Be who you are. Because that's what makes you great. Stop copying and be genuine. Go against the grain. Create something unique. Make people follow you. So that's it for today's video. I hope you really found something important and you take something important out of it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you could get informed when I post any other new video. So I thank you so much for staying to the end. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for the support. So I will see you on the other video. Bye bye.